Hi, welcome to learning the Native American flute with Jason. I'm Jason and I'm going to go over a few techniques on learning the Native American flute. So if you've just picked up your flute or if you've had one lying, lying around the house and are just getting around to learning it, hopefully this video will help you make it sound great. First of all, we're going to go over proper holding of the flute and proper fingering and then we'll talk about proper breathing techniques. After that, I'll give you a, a few hints on giving your flute the flavor and spice that it deserves to hear. Um, first off, I think this is the most important thing to, to learn about the flute is proper fingering of the flute. If you've picked up your flute and you started playing and it makes kind of a squeaky noise like this, that's probably because you don't have all the holes pressed down properly. You want to cover up all of the holes completely. Uh, if you don't, it'll make that squeaking noise. So that's the number one thing on learning the flute. It's fairly easy is if you can get those down. So just practice in front of a mirror and m practice moving up the scale. And just pr practice pressing down the holes and you'll be fine. Next, talking about proper breathing techniques. When you're blowing air through the flute, you'll notice if you have all the holes covered, you don't need to blow as hard. In fact, if you blow too hard, you'll kind of make a, a squealing noise, kind of like this. So you want to kind of just blow softly or gently when you have all the holes covered. But when you move up the scale, you kind of want to blow a little bit harder as you move up or else you won't get the sound you want. If you don't blow as hard on the higher notes, you'll go flat, like it just makes kind of not a, a good noise. All right, finally, we'll kind of talk about things you can do to spice up your playing, uh, give it a little bit of flavor. First off, we'll talk about vibrato. If you've noticed, sometimes when I play, the, the notes kind of wave back and forth like this. Uh, to practice this, you can whistle and just go. Um, that'll help you create vibrato, and that kind of just makes the sound a little bit better. Next um, is a thing I like to call bending. I don't know what it's really called, but you can move your finger, kind of slide it across the hole, and it'll make a, a bending kind of noise, or a slide, as some people call it. So keep practicing these techniques, and you'll be good to go. I'm Jason, and this has been Learning the Native American Flute, and I'll see you next time.